Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Globe here. Welcome back to another episode of Completed. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're doing an episode for Grounded. For those of you who don't know, Completed is a series where I showcase all the achievements for a particular game that I recently completed, aka getting all the achievements for that game. There are a total of 20 achievements for Grounded right now, worth 1,000 gamer score, and they were added with the Shroom and Doom update. The achievements are kind of all over the place. Uh, they have you do things like ride the zip line for over 100 centimeters, score a basket in the basketball hoop for from over 40 centimeters, kill a wolf spider, kill the brood mother, which is the only boss in the game right now, uh, find all the collectibles, complete two out of the three labs, um, discover 20 locations on the map, lounge in a chair. There's just all kinds of random stuff thrown in there. But this game is freaking awesome. I can't say enough good things about the game. I absolutely enjoyed it. it it's probably one of my top 10 favorite games of all time right now. It's that good in my opinion. I loved it. And yeah, um, so what's exciting about this game to me is the Shroom and Doom update was free. So if you have Game Pass, you already have Grounded, and the Shroom and Doom update was free, which added the achievements. But some of those achievements were specific to the Sherman Doom update, like the Broodmother and the Mushrooms, which means if this game ever comes out with more updates, which, if you look it up, they seem to be, they probably are going to also have achievements, which is super exciting. It's going to be kind of like Minecraft, where they give you free updates with free achievements, which I'm never opposed to, and it gives me a reason to go back into this game and enjoy the heck out of it again, which is super exciting. Also, I want to give a huge, huge, huge huge shout out to my boy Captain Girth here. Captain Girth is, he's been my boy since like six, seven years ago and he's my gaming buddy, my absolute best gaming buddy and if it wasn't for him, this game would have taken a lot longer to get all the achievements for and this game was incredible, don't get me wrong, absolutely incredible, but he made it even more incredible. It was a good time playing with him, good time getting all the achievements in the game. And if it wasn't for him, like I said, I would probably still be playing the game trying to get all the achievements. So he definitely sped up the process and made it just that much more enjoyable. So Captain Girth, if you're out there watching this, appreciate you, bro. Love you, bro. Can't wait to uh, get some more achievements with you and play some more games with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So as far as difficulty for this game, um, the achievements aren't really easy. They're not really hard. They're kind of just, in a nutshell, you have to experience the entire game go everywhere on the map, do all the little things on the map, discover everything, craft most of the things, etc, etc, which is fine. It, it, I think it was done pretty well as far as the achievements go. I think none of them were really too hard and none of them were really too easy. It kind of forced you to experience the game, which I think is awesome. The only thing I didn't enjoy about this game was the crow feathers. I literally spent probably five to six hours looking for a damn crow feather. And my boy uh, Captain Girth here finally found one for me so again shout out to him but that was the only part I didn't enjoy about the game I feel I feel like they need to make the crow's feathers a little bit more common but yeah that was the only part I did not enjoy and it happened to me very late in the game like when I only had like three or four achievements left so I got to enjoy the entire game up until that point and then it was kind of like wow this sucks because you are waiting a long time to find a feather but that's it guys, that's going to do it. Um, I'm going to have to give this game a 3 out of 5 stars for achievement difficulty. I think it's not easy enough to deserve a 2 star, but it's not really hard enough to deserve a 4 star. Most of the achievements are just time consuming, they take time to discover the items and explore the entire map, etc. So it's not really a difficult game, but um, yeah, I'm going to have to give it a 3 out of 5 stars in my opinion. So thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. And thank you for all for watching all my achievement guides for the game. I really appreciate that, and hopefully they helped you. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next game I decide to get all the achievements for. So, have a good one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.